I've had these two strand twists for like two weeks now. You're supposed to keep them in for at least three weeks, but they're already unraveling. And some of them have completely unraveled. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair because my hair needs to be washed. I have to wash my hair every two weeks. I realize that now. And plus, I mean, this just isn't working out. I'm gonna wash my hair and see how it holds up. And if it continues to unravel, I'm just gonna take them all down when my hair dries, but yeah. So it's drying now. Got them separated. I put a little shea moisture, you know what I'm saying? Rejuvenation drops up in the scalp, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, some of them did kind of unravel, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So, yeah. I took my two strands out. Um, I definitely feel like um, that chick from Harry Potter. But anyway. It's giving a quirky best friend in an 80s rom-com. I really hope I didn't snatch some of my hair out, though, because those rubber bands was on there tight. I think I got all of them out. Is that? No, nah, this is to my hair. I think I got them all out. So this is what we rocking with. I'm going to get my hair cut later today. So stay tuned for that. Got a haircut. <laughs> It's the, the Action Bible, basically a visual version of the Bible. It's a comic book, graphic novel, if you will. And also, I've been reading more graphic novels because I'm, I'm creating one myself. So, you know, also to like take notes and inspiration as far as like the style that they normally are and all that stuff. And also too, because I've always wanted to get into reading the Bible, but just reading like the plain old Bible for me, I just get lost in it because of like the old English and all that stuff. So this pretty much like modernizes the Bible and you can see what you're reading. And I feel closer to God when I read this. And it's also been helping my mental health and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure this is on like, Amazon books and stuff like that in your local bookstores like Barnes and Noble. I found this one at Walmart, so I'm sure Target has it. Um, I definitely suggest taking a look into it. Shout out to Lynette Atkins and Rakeese Bowen. They are like my favorite vloggers, and so I've watched them a lot of whatever. But right now, I just got on some relaxing music that really helps me. And I also turn my humidifier on and I put on some calming ambiance and I'll read, I'll meditate, whatever I feel like doing. Lately, I've been reading, you know, when I do that. So I just did a, a little yoga, some stretching. I'm still trying to get into the groove of getting back into my physical fitness. This weather has been really challenging, but it's trying to get into better days it's kind of, it's sunny today, but it's cold outside, whatever. So today is gonna be a very much like stay inside day. So, yeah. I kid you not, bro. One of these days I'm going to get like the equipment that is needed for filming. Right now I just have my, um, the ring light. Yeah, and there's like, the ring light can't get everywhere. I, I'm one of these days, I'm gonna get the equipment that I can like put onto the mirror so I can do my skincare and not have to look off to the side and all that shit, but. Um, now that I'm older, 29 years old, 
the hair in my nose grows really fast and maybe it always has grown like this and I'm just paying more attention to it. Luckily, there's no hair coming out of my ears. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so manscaped nose trimmer thing. Let's do it. Let me explain to y'all why I take so long to post actual videos on YouTube and really this content in general when it comes to vlogs and like my personal life and stuff because sometimes I wonder like, is that a bad thing, you know, to kind of speak on things that like you're privately going through. When I'm talking about things that I pray about and things that I really want for myself, sometimes I wonder like, should I even put that out? Because there are people in the world that probably shouldn't hear these things, you know? But then I remember that like, whatever God has planned for me, like nobody can, there's nothing you can do about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's no way you can intercept it. Like, let me try to go on my ears today. Just like I thought, no hair in there. But yeah, like then I remembered like why I make these videos to begin with. It's to help people you never know like who has is going through similar things or who needs to hear what you know the things that you're going through that you're praying for etc cetera, etc cetera. so no i don't feel that way anymore but i have been taking a while to post because of um just personal shit. like i'm getting ready to move to atlanta this summer um definitely no later than june but I'm not sure if it's going to be, like how soon I'm going to move. So now I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for that. You know what I'm saying? Like going back into the grind, I'm writing a book and I wanna get it done. I don't wanna have to stop writing it. Well, I already wrote it. Now I'm collaborating with this illustrator because it's a graphic novel. And I don't wanna have to stop doing that or slow that down because I'm back into the hustle culture and it's a lot of things that's like going into my mind about it and like what it is, I've gotten comfortable again. And that's a problem. Like now I'm going back into the mindset that I used to have before I even moved to California of, oh, what if it doesn't work out? Blah, blah, blah. And we can't do that. <laughs> like something is calling me to Atlanta, so I'm gonna go. I could always move somewhere else if I don't like it, but we're just gonna see what happens. been a while since I put this brow glue on. At one point I forgot about it, but then another point I was like, oh, whatever. Kind of over the hype. And it's okay. Maybe I just don't know how to use it for real, but... on this Carol's Daughter Strengthening Hair and Scalp Drops. Definitely works. Get this, get this shit. Maybe a thumbnail, let's see. This actually really works. Definitely plan to either get this again or a product similar. I might just like play around with other like different brands of drops just to see which one is more my speed but i do like this and then too it is something about like 
having the drops. I feel like a real hair influencer when I use this <laughs> or a real self-care influencer. Whatever type of influencer that I currently am, I really focus on the back part because for me and for a lot of people, like the back of your head is the most driest. Then I like to kind of like flip my hair around and let the oils kind of, you know, spread around and I already sprayed water and Camille Rose seaweed mist and like some type of oil. I can't remember what it was called, but I mixed that together in a spray bottle and I sprayed my, you know, my shaft and my ends. So those drops are specifically for the scalp and the roots. My hair is really growing. <laughs> Yummy. to my uncle's house he just moved into his new house so i'm gonna go see it he had a house warming around two o'clock but just couldn't make it you know so it's like five now so i'm gonna go ahead and go i'm dressed real casual in the environment that i'm currently in everyone pretty much dresses casual like their definition of dressing really fancy is like easter suit if you know you know and uh that's not my style so i just keep it real cordial um what is that anyway i definitely need to buy some more shoes Anyways, I'm running late, so let's go. Also, I've been putting pink Himalayan salt in my water, just a small sprinkle, and I feel so odd doing that. But I looked into it and it's like really good for dehydration. Dehydration is something that I can easily suffer from. When I exercise and do a lot of like HIIT workouts. So yeah, but I'm just not comfortable with putting Himalayan salt in every bottle slash cup of water that I drink. So, and I was doing that at first. So now I'm just slowing it down, putting it in like one bottle a day. So, wish me luck. I put ice cream in my coffee. Not all the time, but sometimes. Um, you should try it. So, today is a new day. Yesterday I went to my uncle's housewarming party or whatever, and it was nice. Real nice home and all that. I just want to say this before I cut out for this video. We have to live in the present. And I'm talking to myself as well. It's so hard to do that because one of my biggest fears, if not my biggest fear, is waking up one day at like 45 years old and realizing that I have been stagnant for 10 years or I did not do enough to get myself to where I want to be. But as someone who is God-fearing, like, I know that it's not up to me. Like, you know, like, once I pray about something, you're supposed to live in the, in the present because you already prayed about it. But these days, I just, I don't know, in the back of my mind, it still lingers. Like, oh, I should be doing something. Like, I should be doing my part, you know. But then it's like, but what's the point of praying if you're still trying to do it after you prayed about it, you know. I had a plan to do something. And I asked God, like, okay, well, if I'm meant to do it, please, like, give me a sign because I'm writing this book and I don't want to stop writing this. Well, I'm getting these the pages to my book illustrated. And I don't want to stop doing that, you know, or, like, you know, hesitate on doing that because of this next step that I want to take. He answered that question yesterday, and I didn't necessarily like the answer that he gave me. So with that being said, we have to trust the process and we have to know that what God has planned for us is way better than what we think we want. And sometimes God will give us or allow us to do what we think we need for ourselves just to show us that that wasn't the plan. So he'll sit back and he'll, like a child, if you're a parent or if you know a parent, they, they, they have a toddler and they're running around and stuff and they keep telling them, hey, don't go in that room. 
and they would go in there anyways after countless times of them telling their child or go in their room and they'll let them go in their room to see that like why they shouldn't go in there. Maybe there's nothing in there. Maybe it's something in there that could scare them or whatever the case. And so they'll let them go in there to see for themselves why they shouldn't go in there. But the whole time that parent is hovering over them, is watching them and making sure like they're protected. That's God. You know what I mean? Like God will let you go in the, in the direction that you want to go into. And the whole time he's with you and protecting you, but he's showing you like this is not the right way. And he's waiting on you to finally give it to him so he can take over. That's something that I'm aware of and I'm still like practicing, like I'm working on and just learning to just let go and be free, you know. But anyways, I hope y'all like this video. Comment down below. If uh, anything that I said in this video touched you in any way, let's have a conversation down there. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you can be the first one to know when I post another video. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.